Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 23 of Direwolf20's server play. Uh, just logging into the server here after a day or two. Uh, we've got Player and Soren online. We've also got XCompWiz on uh, TeamSpeak with Player and Flora. She's around, but I think she went AFK for a minute. What's up, guys? Hey. Hey. How are you guys? We uh, just got my uh, forestry set up here with some bees. I did that off camera, actually. Um, all I really did was uh, set up an apiary with some bees. I got some tropical uh, bees going in one and just regular old meadows bees going in the other. I didn't do any breeding or anything. I figured I'll let Flora do all the work breeding things and then steal her drones when she's done. <laughs> And uh, just, I was automatically pumping out, but I just disabled it. I was using the auto arcic gates, and uh, I got myself a bunch of honeycombs and silky combs. But I haven't automated any of that stuff too much yet. Um, but I do have my centrifuge and squeezer and beelizer ready to start analyzing stuff as needed. I gotta wire those pipes up probably in this episode. And then I wanna get my uh, biofuel production going so I can start producing industrial craft 2 energy using biofuel, which could be fun. So that's my little spiel. So uh, XCompWiz was just telling us about some changes he was making to Miscraft. Sounds pretty cool. And iTunes just told us that uh, he just released, uh, as of the day I'm recording this episode, uh, Portal Gun for SMP. Woo. Isn't that right, iTunes? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I'm dying. <laughs> I, I just need to read. <laughs> Yeah, he's, uh, he's, I think he stayed up all night getting the final touches on there, it sounds like. He's uh, pretty exhausted. Yeah, it's actually uh, 4, 4 a.m. at the moment. Yeah, that's a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to set up some kind of auto thingy. I do want to use, by the way, while I'm here, a hopper. I thought that would be fun to try and use for the first time. So I just need some iron and some stone gears and a chest. That should be a problem. That should actually be very easy. I think I'm somewhat glad that you didn't record me while I was talking earlier and stuttering and mixing up all the words. <laughs> no problem, man. That would be embarrassing. You're all good. I won't make you too embarrassed. So XComp was just telling us about some of the changes he was making in uh, Mistcraft. What uh, what were you talking about with the worlds unloading? Uh, Chicken Bones wrote some really nice code that he's trying to get into Forge uh, that unloads chunks if nobody's in them, including Arnit. Normally, Minecraft server keeps chunks loaded around the spawn point. He's basically made it so that the Forge Forge already has a flag uh, that he's made meaningful now that unloads those chunks. Awesome. Uh, he's also made it so that if all the world or all the chunks in a world unload, then the world unloads as well. Uh, his version actually completely unregistered the dimension. Uh, mine that I've put into Mistcraft natively only removes the world from being loaded. I believe that's probably more correct for the people that are registering a dimension once. But for Mistcraft, either worked fine. That sounds cool. So uh, basically, you're, uh, it's going to help, I think, server admins the most. Especially it's when they start having... It's been helping the server a lot. The yeah. lag is much easier now. Much, much, much. That's cool. Player was saying we had lots more free CPU time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So that's in the version we're using now, then? Correct. Oh, awesome. So theoretically now, some of these ages that aren't working or aren't being used at the moment will unload completely, assuming there's no chunk loaders in them. Chunk loaders, of course, will keep the age up and running. Correct. That's and this is, more than, this is more than theory. I have managed to prove this on the server already. Oh, awesome. So basically, what we're saying here then is uh, we're good to start creating uh, dense ores worlds and go and let them get destroyed and uh, unload when we leave. No, <laughs> we're not good for that yet. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, I mean, I'm dying for the dense ores world. Me too. <laughs> Dorm has actually explicitly prohibited those for the server. You have to contact, or I have to ask him, not... Oh. Dang. Nice. 
Uh, I will say, though, like, in my opinion, the Dentors can be a little bit powerful. <laughs> at when... the moment, at the moment, you know of exactly one instability mechanic. Right. You do not yeah. know the full list I have planned. I know some of it. I look forward to it. Uh, for this, and some people will know what I'm talking about. And remember, uh, you're uh, being recorded now, master. so if you want any of this to be top secret, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> so go I'm on. I'm a dungeon master, so every so I'm more than a teensy bit insane. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's more than a teensy. It's a lot. So, so what's your plan for one of the mechanics? I don't think I heard it. Uh, well, basically, I had I didn't listen to the mechanics I have planned. I just pointed out that I'm a dungeon master, and these mechanics will be interesting. Nice. Um, but one I can definitely say is it, it, I've actually already got it written. It's probably even floating in the code in the current dev release we're using. I just don't think it's actually used. Um, I've written a mechanic for crumbling. Basically, blocks slowly degrade into other blocks. Oh, that sounds cool. So, like, stone will degrade into cobblestone to dirt and then eventually destroyed type of thing? To, to sand. Basically, the whole world eventually becomes sand. At the moment, the query or the biggest problem with it is how do I handle ores and how do right. I handle tile entities? Ah, yes. Things that are more complicated than normal blocks. True. For some of them, I could just break them, but that's a little odd. And I'm sure there's some mods that would get very upset with you for their tile entities getting broken. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sure of, Thawncraft would a pitch a fit if... I think very uh... upset with me. What's that? I think there's a lot of mods already very upset with me. Yeah, like, I think Thawncraft would, like, really be upset if one of its random tile entities got, like, destroyed. And I think Red Power oh, 2 yeah. probably wouldn't behave well either if one of its random tile entities. And for those who aren't, like, you know, modders and know that much about mods, a tile entity is basically, um, uh, and I don't really know it either, but basically, like, it's what gives a block its properties that are special, like... Like, the apiary has, like, all these magical things that it does. The tile entity is what controls it. Where, like, a piece of cobblestone doesn't have anything fancy about it, so it doesn't have a tile entity. Is that a rough approximation, XCOM? A vanilla, that was very well put. Yeah, a vanilla reference would be a furnace. Right, yep. So, like, a furnace and a chest, they have tile entities because they, like, do things. But, you know, cobblestone and smooth stone and sand, they do not. So now I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want to wire up my stuff. Actually, you like the idea of uh, if the descriptive book catch fi catches fire and then the world starts to burn towards the location of the descriptive book, and the players inside to get get out as soon as possible. Sorry, I didn't quite follow that. You're very quiet. I mean, it's a uh, in if the descriptive book catches fire and. And the world that starts to the age starts to catch fire, and if there are any players inside there, they gotta get out before they die. <laughs> it's a fun idea, but I don't believe I'll do that that way. Uh, there have been things. One of the things kind of planned is if descriptive books are destroyed, it will make that book that age inaccessible. It won't just destroy the age necessarily. Uh, and that's just the descriptive is, book, right? Not the linking book. This is just the descriptive book, correct? Um, the the actual lore for Mist states that the the world kind of exists separate from the books. The books just kind of linked to it. But if wasn't that kind of a point of contention among the? Uh... Yeah, that is actually a big point of contention in the lore, and I guess I can't say that for certain. Right, because uh, I remember, like you know, some people theorized they were creating the worlds in the lore of right. Mistcraft, and some people are missed, and then some thought that they were actually linking to existing worlds. Right, and it's actually really pretty much impossible to say what happens to the world when the descriptive book is destroyed because nobody can see it. Right. Uh, in the case of Minecraft, I'm planning on setting it up so that you can't get there, but if you're already there, you can at least get out. I just don't know how urgent that's going to need to be. Sounds fun. Should make for some interesting uh, PvP-ish kind of mechanics for uh, 
you know, Ooh, much, yeah. much more future type uh, plans. Okay, now where is this going to go if it can't fit inside the hopper? That is the next question. Uh, but I'll figure that out in a minute once I wrench all my stuff over and maybe even throw some gold pipes down. Back to basics with simple build craft piping. I like it. Um, we're probably going to want to remove most of this stuff. Because we don't really need it so much. It got quiet. I'm uh, mumbling to myself as I build things. Ah, uh, okay. I don't always hit my push to talk when I'm talking to the audience, per se, because I'm yeah. uh, kind of encouraging you guys to talk more cool, fun stuff, and then I'll stop talking. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, Soren, you're totally breaking up again. Uh, actually, He's gonna I'm bite me for that. Server. I'm playing the server just for this video. That's um, alright, dude. Don't worry about it. You can just type or something if you want. All right, so I let me fix this here. bug, and then I will go move the server. Yay! Cool. Debating if I want a separate room for storage. Because like, this is going to be my like, growing The little room. bit of backstory you need here is my server is running in his basement. That uh, sounds true, very yeah. creepy. The reason for this is it's our parents' basement. Right. And our siblings. Right. Yep, yeah. that I knew. Maybe I want oh, to. Yeah, I was supposed to give you some spoiler, verbal spoilers for my mod because I couldn't video any of the, this weekend. Who did what now? I have to give you verbal spoilers for my mod because I couldn't video any of it this weekend. So. Maybe I'll wait till your server's off because I can't understand what you're saying. I'm sorry. There we go. I'm going to go build a quick 9x9 nine nine and I'll be back, guys. Man, I'll, I'll be waiting for like, you know, 30 seconds of silence. No, that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, no, I just, uh, just finished building my 9x9, so you guys keep on talking. Uh, nothing exciting really happened, but you guys can keep chatting. Talk, talk, dribble, dribble, talk, talk. Exactly. Alright. Like so okay. I well, cannot rap. No. With that mic, you can. Really? Probably get a few... I don't like it. Do I sound that? Zach, get your server off. <laughs> We're supposed to use usernames. You have your name on the website where you download. I'm aware, but they don't know me by that. Fine. Sorry. That's my habit just because I want the server off, off, off. Hmm. Might not be bad. It's impeding on my face with profile checks. Now I'm debating if I want my materials that get centric. Should I really that distorted? These yeah. things. You're better. I can kind of hear you. Right, you're better now. Okay, because I was supposed to give uh, you dial a verbal spoiler of my mod because I couldn't video it this weekend. Oh, yeah. And I realize this video is not going to come out there who knows how long. So, um, a couple days probably, maybe a week. Ten twenty three. Yeah, this is yeah, twenty three. I think uh, I don't know, like nineteen went up yesterday. So. No, no, yeah. only eighteen yesterday. Eighteen yesterday. Was it? Yeah. Cool. Was I thinking about nineteen? Nineteen's next then. Okay. Yes, I, I, some people were complaining on the IRC channel about you not uploading at your normal time, then you. <laughs> I'm saying they were spamming the refresh button. Yeah, I, uh, someday I just was really busy all day and didn't have a chance to get one up. But uh, I got one up in the afternoon, which was cool. And YouTube was being really funny, by the way, that day. Um, so, meh. So is that cool? Yeah. I like that. I think so. Well, basically, I wanted to show something in my mind about the three items I have working so far. And... So, I could have next X, Y. But, uh, basically, three items I have are a ZPM, an Ego Sphere, and a Gauntlet. 
Cool. The ZPM is basically a power source. If you ever watch Stargate or Stargate Atlantis, the giant crystal in the base. Uh, the ego sphere, ego stands for liquid in Greek, so it basically is. The simplest way to think about it is the vulcanite amulet and the. Uh, what's the water one? And just that amulet in one, but each one, each item you have does not have a base ability when you first get it. Like the gauntlet, it's a multi tool. But when you first get it, it's only a stone tool all the way around. It's as slow as a, a stone pickaxe, and it can't do much more. But the right. uh, engineering table I have will allow you to upgrade those items. Movable and replaceable. Oh, that's cool. So it's basically the enchanting table with a lot more modifications, but a lot less hassle. Of, Am I going to get... Uh, Fortune 2 or something. No, it's going to have an entire list of upgrades that you can craft and then put them into the gauntlet or ego sphere and then use it from that. So far for the ego sphere, there's the water core or hydro core and the molten core. Each one, you can only have one or the other. And the hydro core will place water from where you're clicking on the block, and then the molten core will place lava. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I can't wait to start messing around with uh, Zycraft and do a spotlight on it to show you guys all yeah. about how it, it sounds awesome. You got some really good plans going, I think. I think I'm going to have to wait for 1.3 to start doing a lot of machine coding, just because I don't know how much is going to change from what I have now. So I work on what I can with just Java. Like, uh, I worked on something yesterday for choosing what t uh, tool classes is based on the data you have loaded onto it. Right. So I have 16 different tool classes. I need a spot for more stuff. And some of them don't even make sense to me. I had to look at what a map talk was. I just realized I need a new spot for a chest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what are you... Are you using your computer mic or a headset? Neither. <laughs> I'm using the microphone that mom had. Ah. Uh, um, try using your computer mic with push to talk. It did work the other day. I have it now. How's this work? A this little is better. much better. Okay. It didn't work the other day. People were saying it's too quiet, so... No, actually, that's way better. Yeah, okay, that's the cool. wrong with though. You can stack your chests, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. I don't like doing that usually, okay. though. Okay. I kinda, I kinda like having one Guy, per... you ran out of space for, your, for chests in your sorting room? Yeah, I think I know oh, where I'm gonna can... put one. Uh, Dyer, you know the, the issue you said with portals earlier? Um, the one where you can't go through them? Yeah. Uh, there's actually a quick, like, easy workaround for that. You just have to uh, log in and log out again. Wait, log out and log in again. Oh, that's cool. Let's move this stuff out of the way here. And get a new pneumatic tube. Now, I think there's already a color line set up in my sorters that I'm not using anymore. There's a tool paint. that allows you to manage a 3x3 farm using energy sound a little overpowered. Well, uh, what do you mean, 3x3? Three three, manage a 3x3 three three farm? So, like, say you have a hoe, and you use the hoe on the gra on the dirt block, it places that one tilled block. My uh, gauntlet has a upgrade where you can right-click on a dirt, and it would do a 3x3 three three around that center block, and uh, after you do that, it will be tilled. You right-click on the tilled, then you can... Uh, Plant whatever seeds you have in your inventory, and if you have bone meal, you can right-click again, have it grow, right-click again to harvest any fully grown. That sounds cool. All using energy. That sounds kind of neat, I think. Okay. So trying to keep this as balanced as possible, not having like, oh, you can get this real quick and you're done. 
Right, yeah, I hear you. The point of the upgrade system is so it won't have... You get, like... Uh, e has the morning star, which is a really cool item. But once you get it, you're like, okay, now what? I can right. go mining forever. I want it so you can only have up to seven upgrades. And if you put on all the mining efficiencies, like uh, miner, digger, and lumberjack, stuff like that, you only have three up open ones available then. Oh, I gotcha. It definitely sounds interesting. Yeah. I still have to work out the engineering table. Oh. So what I'm doing, guys, is just getting my sorting machine ready to handle all these, you know, crazy items landing in here. No, go down. Thank you. How's the server coming? It's going, uh, what, my server? Or the server I'm playing on? He means mine. Well, either uh, one now. I guess it doesn't matter. So these will all be, um, B well, products. Okay. I've yep. just about got the, uh, bug all wrapped up here. Uh, as soon as I fix up my errors, then, like, I, as soon as I sync my code across the vanilla and the Forge edition, yeah. uh, I will be able to go and finish up my server stuff. I can check my Facebook again. I don't think you guys understand how slow it is when I'm trying to check Facebook with this server on. Oh, I know. Yeah, is it internet lag like, or computer lag? Like? Nice. Internet for me. Um, if I, I have computer lag, like, there's a serious issue. Can I leave this on camera? Did I make this on uh, camera? I understand how you completely, man. Yeah, I think I made that one. Uh, minor changes I did make since last episode, by the way. I have another quarry running. You can see it in the distance out there. My it's internet like way far away. Slow, That's why I can't play Minecraft on SMP. Yeah. Oh, I have a good and I got a lot of stuff. Without some server. Don't blame the server. The server's fine. It's the fact that the server's trying to host some hey, 1.5 thousand viewers. Well, okay. I would blame I'll be back on in a minute, server. guys. Hey, okay, don't remember right. right now. And I'm back, and these guys Awkward are all chit chatting. So basically, oh, I have a plan. I want to. <laughs> Sneak I don't think he already started recording without telling us. Well, he did tell us some, but he we... does that sometimes. No, sometimes. I don't. I always recording. announce when I'm starting recording. Yeah. No, 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 you don't. Sometimes you just keep up the next There have been a few you... points where we were talking about something, and you'd go, "Oh, I'm recording, by the way." Yeah, and it gets yeah, really quiet yeah. on the video. I love that. <laughs> I've been instructed to talk the entire time. Er, anytime you say that. By well, your IRC. No, technically, technically, no. I I probably did say I'm recording before oh, yeah. I started recording. In, in the and then I like to remind people, by the way, I am still recording, so hope you don't right. mind that information you just said being public, that's all. <laughs> yeah, but let's like five there. minutes into the recording. <laughs> What's that? that? That was like five minutes into the recording. Maybe sometimes. Oh, that block's important. Fail. But I need a cover. I don't have any cover materials. When creating this, I had no second thoughts about having a giant tunnel of lava in the middle of my base. But now that I have it here, I don't feel so safe. I can't imagine why. Yeah, me neither. At least there's obsidian in the center of it. Better than a creeper blowing up the chest. And pouring Steve's all over the place. Actually, the <laughs> creeper managed to get part of that chamber of wall. I'm glad it didn't hit the no, base of it. I oh. can't do that. Steve's everywhere, all burning on the ground. That would not go out well. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine why. Oh yeah, do you guys miss the old uh, hurt sound? The old what sound? The old hurt sound. When you get hurt. Uh, how old are we talking about? 
So that does work, but uh, that's not going to work because that block is probably I didn't actually notice there, there was a long break. It I don't remember the beta. order, so. so yeah, in beta, is that he just, like, um, got or something like that. It. But right now, right now, it's like the sound of breaking bones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the difference there, yeah. I missed the beta one. I have This one sounds painful. This one yeah, sounds I mean, painful. Uh, I prefer to going out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you, you die from hunger when, by breaking every bone in your body. Exactly. Your bones are becoming malnutrient. New. Never mind. Nourished? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, my mind just like stops. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, this works, I'm not sure if it will. <laughs> Dagwolf, Dagwolf is recording. Not alone. <laughs> Dagwolf is recording. Brain, yeah, stop. Yeah. Nope, that doesn't work either. It's when my brain stops. Tricky, tricky, tricky. And you know, I'm the one that's up at 5 a.m. Yeah, it's only 5 in the evening for him. Yeah. yeah. Midnight for me. Uh -huh. We've got a good dispersion of time zones here. Yeah, except I think Dire Wolf's in the same one I'm in. What's that? Uh, Eastern? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Eastern Time. Yeah, I'm, I'm Eastern Time too. Most... I'm just Eastern European Time. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm probably the most uh, probably the most awkward one because it's uh, not many people on my time here. I'm gonna have to swap out my gates just to make things look pretty. It's what I do. All right, I'm gonna need any. Uh, some of you, and some of you, and probably not some of you. I smell like 30 stacks of cobblestone. I'm having fun setting up my new uh, bee production facility system. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to help me with my bees when I come, or Flora if she's ever on. Yeah, ask Flora. She knows what she's doing way better than I do. So I could probably figure it out, but I just don't have the attention span to do bees. I like the automation stuff, but not the breeding part. Uh, what am I doing wrong here? Ah, redstone. There we go. No, I, I love the automation. That's what I'm all about. Yep. Okay. That's what I'm working on Making now, is trying to automate this thing a little bit more fancy. Fancy is always nice. All right, so what I'm going to want to do is the following. has work, but I need to get this thing on there first. I'm wondering, should I create a new world for a red power logic gate factory or keep it in my volcano tower world? Yeah, I'm more like wondering how quiet we've become ever since I started recording. Oh right, there was no machine hooked up there yet. <laughs> I mean, we were talking for like half an hour straight non-stop, then I know. the moment dies, that's like... Then he starts recording and it goes silent. But he yeah. did mention that we were talking for half an hour, so... Yeah, that kind of scared me. <laughs> Try and only do this with one gate. Obviously, okay. I can do it with more. As for whether or not to uh, I'll be right back. create a new... No Alright guys, uh, got this working. Or you um, might not wake up with whatever alarm you have set. As work, red pipe signal. Ah uh, yeah, I had three alarms the other day, I slept through all three of them. Yeah. We've both done that too, yeah. Red pipe signal. Even though it's not rendering, that's just... What a are you doing with the fire? It's working, just, you know, kind of. Now he's silent. What's that now? Who? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, I'm building a little automated system thingy. 
Oh, are you still recording at the moment? Yep, you just started. Oh, you yep. started. it. That's why I said no more awkward silence. Whoa, what did you do? You missed the sleeping time hole. drop. <laughs> just... I only like, walked over it. Yeah, I'm tweaking it because well, I wanted to put stuff here and I couldn't because of the way it was set up. Right. Well, I mean, when, when we have our in-depth talks, uh, die in recording, that's really sad. Cool. And this will have an auto arcade gate, probably just... And then when he starts recording, it gets all quiet. <laughs> no, I'm just not always hitting my push to talk key when I start recording. No, I meant, I meant us. We were discussing, you know, talking just now, but then when you started recording, it, it, it got quiet. Oh yeah, don't worry about being quiet, it's fine. And here I'll say items in inventory, energy pulser. Cool. There's more than enough, more than in, more than entertaining enough to make up for the fact See? that you're not. Yeah. And then we start getting that stuff. Awesome. Well, you're not entertaining, but I think iTunes and I am are. All right, I got this working, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, this feels like a pretty good wrapping up point to episode 23. I got the. Uh, uh, system here all set up properly. Now I can pump stuff out the back. It'll look pretty nice. And then uh, I just need to do a little bit more to get everything routing automatically and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode number 23, and I'll catch you all next time in 24. Take it easy.